Hey guys, welcome back uh, to another episode of Dojo Setting. We're gonna do a crimpy V3 on a 30 degree wall. So all of these are gonna be on 30 degree walls. I'm sorry, that's just the angle that I have very easy access to. Um, I'm working on uh, arranging a steeper wall angle um, that I can use. Um, but for now, 30 degree wall, that's what we have to use. And also keep in mind, grades are subjective. Before we dive in, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, pushing out videos very often, so stay current on those. Uh, follow me on Instagram, and uh, we also have a Patreon going, uh, trying to give you guys uh, higher quality content. So um, consider joining that. So let's dive in, let's get into the V3 crimpy climb. A comment that I get very often uh, with my how to sets is, you know, why don't you show the holds? Um, we'll get more in depth with that. And I have gotten in depth with that with a couple of videos on why I don't necessarily do that. But this is gonna make a lot of you guys happy about this. This series, because we are focusing on a specific grade, on a specific style of holds, we are going to be uh, getting into the holds a little bit. So, um, again, 30 degree wall, uh, V3, the holds we have today, we have one of these uh, Technic, um, one of these Locusts. Um, these things are actually pretty good. I can get like a pad and a half or so out of it. Pretty good. Um, we also have a few of the Technic Geeks. Uh, same thing, you're kind of getting pad and a half out of them. Pretty in-cut holds. Um, this one's actually pretty good. Um, so, some fairly positive holds. Again, you can, you know, you might even think that these are jugs. Uh, but I think that on a 30 degree wall at V3, these are going to be a little bit smaller than a V3 climber uh, might be used to. I don't know, maybe not, who knows. Uh, we also have a couple more. Um, forgive me if I get these wrong. Are these the clippers? I don't know, Technic cli uh, clippers maybe? Um, these ones are just kind of like geeks, but just a little bit more in cut. Um, they're a little bit smaller, you can see, where am I? They're a little bit smaller, you can see I'm only getting about a pad in there. Um, this one, maybe a little bit more, but still pretty good in-cut holds. And to break the theme of Technic, <laughs> we have one of the Sandy jugs uh, from Capital. Now I know, uh, technically this is one of the Sandy in-cuts. From capital um, this one yeah you might be able to fit four fingers on that pad and a half or so so and again these are just my opinions um, the movement that we go with is going to heavily determine uh, how positive or uh, small the holds can be let's uh, put up a boulder and we'll climb it Now that we have this thing set, let's climb it and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Notice that all the holds are pretty down pull. Not a whole lot of thinking involved. It's just for this particular route. You can have them be a lot more thoughtful uh, depending on the holds that you use. Uh, we did have a couple bigger reaches involved, um, but Nothing too crazy overall, fairly straightforward boulder. So I suppose the goal of this series is to kind of answer a lot of your guys' questions. Uh, I get them all the time. Well, what holds would you use for a V4? What holds would you use for a V5? Um, so hopefully this kind of helps, uh, maybe, who knows? Grades are subjective. Um, the movement really, uh, 
uh, informs which holds you should be choosing. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time with a crimpy V4.